Today I'm going to demonstrate how to convert fractions greater than one to a mixed number. Normally we hear these fractions that are greater than one. They are called improper fractions. But for today I'm going to refer to them as fractions that are greater than one rather than an improper fraction so that it cements the idea that when we compose fractions, we can have whole numbers that are composed inside of fractions. I have the fraction 7 fifths. And before I can rename or convert this fraction to a mixed number, I first have to identify the unit fraction. And the unit fraction can be identified by looking at the denominator. Our denominator is 5, so that lets me know that my unit fraction is 1 fifth. And a unit fraction is a fraction that has a numerator of 1. So my thinking question is, how many 1 fifths make one whole. So what I'm going to do is partition my first tape diagram into fifths. So one, two, three, four. And that's going to give me fifths. And I'm going to label each part as a fifth and the total is 5 fifths. So here's my model. I know that 5 fifths is one whole, but the question is, how many more fifths do I need to get 7 fifths? So I'm going to take 7 fifths, and I'm going to subtract this 5 fifths from 7 fifths. And it's going to tell me how many more fifths I need to create one whole. I mean, to create 7 fifths. So I took out this one whole because subtracting 5 fifths is the same as subtracting one whole. I need two more fifths to get 7 fifths. So I'm going to partition my second tape diagram and label each section a fifth. And just because I only need two fifths, I still have to partition each section of the tape diagram into a fifth because two-fifths is part of a whole and I can't just section off or partition one part and say oh that's two-fifths because you have to remember that a fraction has equal parts. So what I'm going to do is shade in my seven-fifths Shade it in. Now, we're renaming this as a mixed number. So what I'm going to do is look at my tape diagram and see if I can find the whole numbers inside of my model. And my whole numbers, I see one right here. So I'm going to put my equal sign because it's equivalent. We're renaming it. So I have one whole. And a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. And I have two-fifths that are left over. So 7 fifths is the same as or 
It's equivalent to one and two-fifths. 